Today we're taking a look at an app called Quick Notes, which is very simple and is basically just made to let you talk into your iPhone and get text out. High quality text, very quickly. It's very purpose built. It's not gonna be for everybody, but it's perfect for me, which makes a lot of sense because this is an app that I made. Uh, it is available on the App Store to download for the iPhone and iPad. It's completely free. There isn't an in-app purchase for one feature, but I'm gonna show you just the free stuff today. So uh, basically the use case for me is I'm walking my dog, I'm reading an article, I'm inspired to write a blog post or a social media post or an email or something. I just need to write a little bit more text than a few words, right? And so I can either type that on the keyboard, which I find annoying. I can use the dictation on the keyboard, which I find not super accurate. Um, but I am able to basically use Apple's integrated tools on the device in iOS 26 to get higher quality text output. So let's just open the app and take a look. So I'm gonna open Quick Notes and it's a fresh install now. Um, let's just record something. This is some text that I want to record. Um, I don't know what it's going to say exactly, but uh, hopefully it makes some sense. And so that was intentionally not so great. And you can see this is what it came out with. This is just exactly what I said. It does do punctuation, which is better than what I think the system keyboard does. Um, but you know, it's not perfect, right? So let me hit the cleanup button and boom, there's some text that I want to record. I don't know what I'm going to say exactly, but hopefully it makes some sense. So it updated the punctuation. It got rid of the ums and it just kind of fixed it for me. And I can click into here to see a diff to see kind of what it changed. And so this is actually done using Apple's on-device foundation model. So effectively, if you have Apple intelligence, you can use this. And so now I have useful text. I can copy it to my clipboard and then I can save it or trash it, whatever I wanna do. I'll save it just for fun. Um, and so I can go back to this and find the text, copy it again, share it to something on my, um, on my device. So that's really it. So the use case I have is typically I will be in uh, I'll be in Obsidian where I do my writing and I'll wanna write a paragraph. I'll switch over to Quick Notes. I'll record a quick paragraph. I just wanna record a quick paragraph about what I'm thinking about and turn it into text that I paste into Obsidian. So I do that. That looks fine. I'll clean up just to make sure it's all good. Copy it, delete it, and I'm back to Obsidian doing whatever I wanna do. That's really it. We can jump into the settings. Um, it will do automatic language detection, but it supports all the languages that um, Apple's speech analyzer does. Um, if I haven't mentioned this already, this is all done 100% locally. Nothing ever leaves your device. Um, I'm not using any third-party language models. This is all the stuff that's built into iOS already. Uh, so this isn't a big download or anything. Uh, you can customize those cleanup instructions. Uh, so you can change it. So by default, it's just gonna clean it up, not make any like style changes or anything. Um, but you could say, summarize it. You could make yourself sound like a pirate. You could turn it into a blog post. Or or you can just type whatever you want here and it'll go ahead and follow those instructions. Um, we'll go ahead and go back. Uh, you can also just make it a little quicker. So if you always wanna copy as soon as you're done, you can auto copy your transcription. You can automatically return to the homepage after that. Uh, you can auto save after you copy and share and you can auto clean up. So this one's actually nice. This is the one I use. Um, so if I go down here, Let's just transcribe this and uh, I guess make sure that it is uh, cleaned up, right? So again, a couple, I've slipped over my words a few times and there we go. Um, so this is actually one of those things where that's actually a little weird. Um, it isn't supposed to do that. Uh, here's the cleaned up transcript. I think my custom prompt is still in there so I should probably take that away. But that's the idea is that you can just go ahead talk into it it gives you cleaned up text and that's really it. Now you might be thinking, hey, I can do this in voice memos. And yes, you can. So here's a new voice memo that I'm recording and uh, it's it's got some text in it, right? I can, uh, I, I, I can do that and it's fine. Again, stumbling over my words on purpose. So I've done the recording. It does have a transcript. I can go into this little thing. I can hit the text thing. So here's a new voice memo that I'm recording and uh, and so uh, I can hit three dots, copy transcript, and now it's copied. Now this was a lot more steps. Uh, and also it doesn't clean up the text. I need to clean up this text for myself um, somehow. So for me, Quick Notes is really, really good. I mean, and again, I'm showing the cleanup stuff here. You don't have to do that. Hey, Michael, how are you doing?
Like just something like that is super simple, right? It just works very quickly, copy to your clipboard and you can paste it into the messages app. So if you need higher quality dictation, I think this app is really nice. Again, I'm showing you my real iPhone home screen. It is genuinely on my home screen because I use it so much. Um, but yeah, check it out, link in the description, totally free to try out. You don't have to buy anything. It's great, it's simple. If you need it, lovely. If you don't, I'm so sorry. Um, but that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.